going on? It's your boy Shaq the Shark. Yes, sir. Out here in my city. Hey, man, we out here. You know what I mean? It's turf, man. We living life. So I've been seeing online everybody been talking about red flags. Red. There's like red. a whole bunch of red flags. Like I seen somebody say something about uh, if he say if he say he's a motivational speaker, that's a red flag. <laughs> I saw that, bro. I'm like, I don't even understand how that's a red flag. Because you know it's a red flag because if he's a motivational speaker, that means he's good with words and that means he can finesse his way into some things that a young lady may not want her to get finessed into because he's a motivational speaker. <laughs> See, I didn't even you gotta, that. You gotta go deeper. Oh. You know what I'm saying? If you good okay. with words, do you understand being good with words, what you can do with words, you can impact oh, yeah. the world. Nah, you're right. You're right. I didn't even understand that red flag. Like I, I know a couple red flags too, right? Give me some. Yo, if you don't if you don't know your credit score, bro, i like a chick, if she don't know her credit, or if she don't like you know, chicks out here don't even got a bank account. Like they ruined their bank account. By doing like I guess the check system, that's a huge red flag. Like if you let somebody put a, a bad check in your account, that's a red flag for me. I'm sorry. At what age should you not get got with that scam? Because nah. at 18 year old, you probably can still get got. Nah. Not, not at 18? Like, nah. Cause look, look, this is why I say this is why I say you can't even go for that at 18. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like you 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 about to go to prison for a couple of dollars? Nah. Especially if you if you still allowing it to affect your current credit situation or your your current status to get a bank account, like people act like they don't care about getting an account even now. Like you can get that fixed. So how do you do that? You gotta you gotta share the game. Yeah, you gotta share the game. Like, well, this a rule, bro. This a rule. If you gonna do anything that's not by the book, you gotta know the penalties of what you about to get yourself into before you do it. That's a rule. Like I don't care what you into. Like. If you desperate and you gotta make a move, okay, cool. But you, before you make that move, you gotta make sure you responsibly look up what the penalties and consequences are of that decision before you make. So, like, okay, cool. So you in a check system. You, if you don't know that the check system is a data furnishing, like it's it's that like the banks know you're in that system because they look through your data. If you don't know that, then you should have no business. You had no business doing that in the first place. That's a bar. Yeah. That's a bar. I make me think about one of my homies was talking about when he was in prison. And he said when he was in prison, when you had a certain type of crime, you had a certain type of ban on yeah. and everybody in the crime, like they could know if it was like armed robbery, like yeah. like the, I forget the term for it, but it was like basic crimes. Yeah. And then you do fair time, you would get a different color ban. Yeah. And he said he had a conversation with one of the dudes who was like just a corporate looking white dude, whatever, it's a square. Yeah. He got all gangster. And he was talking to him and they couldn't relate at the time because he thinking like Yo, I'm gangster, but at the same time, obviously he did a bigger crime, yeah. right? Because he got a different color band. Yeah. And the dude said he schooled him and said, "Bro, I bet you in here for a crime that was less than a hundred thousand dollars." Yeah. So I let him know that you getting locked up with me, and you you looking at me like I'm stupid, but I was I'm in here for millions. Right. I was trying to make millions. You in here for a crime that caught that was they got you less than a hundred thousand. Exactly. So that's a huge red flag to me. Like, what's an, what's another red flag? So they don't know their credit. So basically, we saying they need to get. Financially literate and, and then facts. also facts. Right. Another red flag. All right, all right. So if a, if a girl talking about having babies too fast, that's mm. a huge red flag. Mm. That's a huge red flag for me. Why you say that? Because, bro, like, like we we we're above average. Like we make more income than most. Good problem. You said, all right, we make more money than most people. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, cool, for sure, for sure. So a girl want to have. Baby, if she's talking about it too soon, what's too soon as far as in her age or which one in a relationship with, 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 with me in a relationship? Okay. Like, all right, so let's say we're not even in a relationship, let's say we're going out on first dates and she right. talking about baby, red flag. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> talking about babies with you, or just yeah. say she want babies in period? Period. I'm she just, say she want babies. Hey, look, listen, if she says she want babies, then I just feel like it's too premature to be talking about that or to be talking like that. What you think? I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I definitely feel like it's a red flag, especially if you see what's going on on a daily basis. Cause yeah. we know um, typically a woman that's uh, have a baby, like shout out to all the single mothers out there that still figured out how to grind and get it oh, going sure. and make that bad. I, get uh, I grew up in that. But if you see that that's gonna make life harder, why would you do that? Exactly, like that's, that's what I'm saying. Like in my mind, I'm thinking like, you don't know my character yet. 
Like, a lot of people judge you based on what you have. And that's cool, but it's a lot of people who have it, right? Like, it's a lot of people who, who make money one way or another. It could be legal, it could be illegal. Like, people have money. If that's the only thing that's your standard and you'll make a decision that'll last your lifetime based on that fact, that's a huge red flag. Especially if you aren't financially stable. At that point, you're selfish. Why would you bring another person and you not even together? That's what I'm saying. Like you Because really you know why? She's going to make sure you got it together. Well, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. That's, <laughs> bro, that's a red flag for me. Because you don't even know my character yet if it's that early on. No, you got that bag. Yeah, hey, but that ain't enough. Because cause how many people got kids with people with a bag, but they struggle? Tell that to Brittany uh, Renner. Hey, Tell hey, that to bro. her. Hey, she, I, she ran up, you know, she, she got like a six figure, uh, six figure, uh, uh, child support. But that's because, that's because Buddy didn't, uh, look at the red flag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If he would have, if he would have recognized the red flag, then hey, he would, he would have been straight. So now that's a red, so now we can't blame it on women. That's a red flag for him. That's a red flag for men. I'm talking men. from a man perspective. Oh, okay, okay. So like, I'm not saying, look, listen, I'm not trying to knock her hustle. Like, hey. She, she he a lit. She licked him. She hey, ain't in, walking lit. She ain't in love clearly. Walking so, lit. So so hey, he missed the red flag. He ain't follow. He ain't he ain't know the code. And now he you know he he, he got paid for it. I am so not sorry. In Miami, is a lot of red flags, but we riding around in this. You are gonna see a lot of girls trying to give you some red flags, man. Hey man, listen. We avoiding red flags at all costs. We gotta, we gotta protect them. We gotta protect the brand. You feel me? The brand. So what's so when you get a girl like, or you talking to uh, uh, somebody who's talking, they showing you red flags. Do you educate them at that moment on be better, or you just let them nah, do their thing? Nah, bro. Like nah. I let them. I let them live their best life. Them rock. You just let them be themselves. Yeah, like that. I, I don't think people should. I don't think like the thing is this, right? Like I have certain standards. When it comes to how I carry myself And then I got the standards for the people I associate with mm -hmm. If you don't meet those standards I don't tell you what those standards are So you can pretend to meet them I just allow you to be yourself And within, with me observing you being yourself Then I make a decision on whether or not I want you in my space That's mm -hmm. it That's how I carry you mm -hmm. like, If I'm going to give you the game on how to be in my space Then all you got to do Is just put on the show mm -hmm. Until you already all the way in, and then I'm gonna find my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to meet the real you eventually. Because the thing mm. about putting on the mask is eventually you gotta take it off. Mm. And that's why I think people go wrong. Like they be trying to teach people exactly how to carry them or what or, or what they expect, and then the person will pretend to meet all those expectations mm. just to get what they want from you, and then they switch it up on. You. <laughs> that's game. That's game. Cause it, yeah. at that point. You giving free mentorship, basically, and not 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 just that. It's not even it's not even just that. Like, it's not only is it free mentorship, but people be people like they be having their own agenda. And when you give when you give too much too soon, mm -hmm. people they they won't expose their agenda to you. So you'll let them know everything that it takes in order to you know be a counterpart with you, and they'll put on an act, you know, so they can get to their their objective from the very beginning. And, and then that's why people be like, man, I never thought this person would do this to me. Well, that's only because you didn't know them. Like, the thing mm -hmm. is, people always say, I never thought this person would do me like that. Well, why did, why, why would you, why, why would you assume that? Like, what gave you that idea? Because you don't know them well enough. You just, you just assumed you knew them because you, you probably gave them all the game on, on what it takes in order to be around a person like you. Mm -hmm. And then they, and then they put on that show because they may like what you have, or they may, they may actually like you to that, to you know, to a certain extent. But the problem is, the problem is, just because they like you to a certain extent, that doesn't mean they're the type of person you really want to be around. Mm -hmm. I remember um, I was talking to. Uh, Another uh, mutual friend of ours, bro. It was uh, Matt. He had said some, some, some that really made me think. He was talking about hanging out with a uh, circle of CEOs. Yeah. And he was like, man, <clears throat> when they first started getting together, they was always trying to invite them to different things. But then they realized, they was like, yo, we can only invite Matt to these situations when we're talking about making hundreds of thousands. Because at the time, he wasn't 
charge it for his value. He was like just being real, real more like um, uh, philanthropy. And they was like, yo, we trying to have million dollar talks. Right. Everything that we talking about, we talking about multi-millions, investing into plots, invested into real estate, invested into uh, um, a technology company, invested right. into a healthcare company. And it was like, Matt was the homie, but at that time, earlier in the stage, they couldn't invite him to those type of conversations. It was nothing personal. Right, 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 right. And when he broke it down to me, he said, like, it was actually, he was like, yo, when he said that to me, he was like, yo, at that moment, I knew that I needed to level up. You know what I'm saying? He's like, and then he ran up the bag and started making millions. Cause he was wow. like, he was like, he had never been excluded from conversation before. He had never had somebody tell him you were excluded from these conversations. Yeah, that's only crazy. because you can't talk the money that we talk. <sighs> Bro, that's crazy. So here's the unfair advantage. It's like when they say the rich get richer, yeah. it's only simple because the ideas hit them first because they got more money to get the ideas first. Right. So by the time it gets to us, it got so much baking soda in it. Right. Yeah, so so that's exact that's exactly what it is, bro. Like I realized this too. Like like the richer I got, the, the I can have people actually reach out to me for different situations mm -hmm. now. It's like boom. I just got a phone call today. It's like, yo, you trying to buy a house? This today, you trying to buy a house tomorrow? It's like Am I trying to buy a house tomorrow? Yeah. Boom. If I wasn't in the financial situation that I'm in, then when this opportunity presented itself, I wouldn't have came to mind. Yeah. You know, so like it's important. Like getting rich is if you're not trying to get rich, that's a huge red flag. Right? Because because the thing is, getting rich is so important because once it's done, you'll be able to with ease start to level up more mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. get, being rich qualifies you for things that you weren't qualified for yeah. prior to being rich yeah. you could be the same exact person you could think yeah. the same exact way but yeah. if you don't have that results if you don't yeah. have those results then you can't even you just qualify you can't even get put on the play you yeah can't exactly even get put on the play because that's we know the key is okay cool you level up yourself boom but it's only so far you can get by yourself that's a fact you need those relationships. Bro. You need those relationships and you need, and, and see the thing about relationships, this is the part that people don't talk about. Relationships have like the higher level, the higher level person that you're dealing with, it's a higher criteria to deal with those people because they can deal with pretty much anybody. A, a rich person can pick up the phone and if they call anybody, they'll be glad to pick up and answer and mm. talk to them. So if they can talk to anybody, why should they be talking to you? It's because you're high value, it's because you're uh, of service, or it's because you're a counterpart, mm. right? That's the only reason. Mm. That's the only reason. So, only reason. so, so if you're not going, if you're not going to be a counterpart, then that means you got to serve them. That means you got to pay for a product. That means you got to do something because they can be talking to anybody. So you just got to put yourself in the mindset to where mm. you're not going to give that red flag of not understanding how it go as you continue to level up. That's really what. Hey, bro. Okay. Hey man, red flags, man. Get y'all, get y'all, get y'all situation. Y'all better, y'all better get rid of the red flags, man. That's all I know. All right, man. Let's go in here, man. Grab some grub or something.